On February 8th, Missouri lawmakers voted against adding limitations for minors and their right to carry. The proposal to ban children from being able to carry guns in public without the supervision of an adult failed by a 104 to 39 vote. The limitations were initially intended to have bipartisan agreement, but only one Republican representative voted in favor of the ban. Effective January 1, 2017, Missouri Constitution allowed citizens to legally open carry without having to obtain a permit first. It used to be that to, to have a gun in public in most places, you had to have a, a permit to carry. And to have a permit, you had to be 19. Well, when Missouri did away with permits to carry back in 2017, that actually also took away our age requirement to carry, which means now there is no minimum age. Literally, a toddler can carry a gun without adult supervision, and it's not actually illegal in Missouri. With firearms becoming the number one killer of children in America, as school shootings continue to rise across the country, many people propose the solution of arming teachers. Teachers did not go to school or receive training to try and be security guards. Uh, they already are having to be social workers and mental health workers because we don't pay for enough of them in the building. On top of educating kids with a lot of er learning loss, now we're going to ask them to carry guns. And all you're doing is adding guns to the equation. All you're doing is creating a, an opportunity for a shootout, escalating every conflict to life or death. Missouri State Representative Dean Van Skoik saying he voted against adding limitations on children carrying firearms due to its broadness and infringement of Second Amendment rights. This is Amendment to Amendment. It was too broad. I've got farms that are across the road from each other. If my grandson was old enough to have a firearm and go hunting, say 14, 16, I, I had at that age, and he crossed the road from one farm to the other, he would be a criminal while he's in that road carrying that firearm. It was way too broad. And that's why I voted against it, and that's why it failed. Gun safety instructor and former police officer Sean Henderson saying that in a rural area, a child having a gun can be the difference between life or death in a dangerous situation. Say if you live out in a rural area where, God forbid, when you have an emergency, maybe the response from that agency is 45 minutes away. Whereas if you live in you know, a metropolitan area or something or a small city, maybe the response is three minutes. So it definitely will drive the factor of what you may believe is not, not uh, something that a young one should entertain, having the knowledge of a firearm. It may not for where you live, but out in a rural area where mom and dad may be in town working, mm -hmm. may be very vital to the difference between something happening to your loved ones versus nothing happening. Representative Meredith saying the limitations are more so targeted towards those who live in bigger cities where gun violence is prominent. Meanwhile, we've got kids coming from communities with high levels of gun violence, and we're telling them, you're only safe with a gun to protect you. How does that help in their communities? Any conflict turns into a matter of life or death because the weapon that they've got to resolve the conflict and protect somebody kills them. I don't think that's the solution at all. When we have obvious solutions, and that's reducing the number of guns in our street, addressing mental health care, and making sure that our kids have other productive activities that, that redirect them and divert them into more positive places in their lives. Henderson also says that being informed and being safe is the key to proper gun ownership. There is power and knowledge. It would behoove somebody, if they're going to carry this, consider carrying, to go through a certified course just to get the information. Paramount is safety, of course. And then once you've got that foundation, then you can frame up around that with the ability to utilize the gun in a safe manner at the range, with supervision, of course, until the, uh, the guardian or the parent has a confidence in the, in the young ones to be able to be out there with themselves.